And the historic Artemis One mission came to a successful end today as the Orion capsule splashed down in the Pacific. Some new video shows the recovery crew reeling in the capsule aboard the USS Portland. How cool is that video? Now it's soon going to be heading to Naval Base San Diego. At first, the capsule was set to land off the coast of San Diego, but the storm hitting our area right now pushed that splash zone south to the Baja California area. But you know that did not stop San Diegans from celebrating. CBS 8's Brian White was at Balboa Park early today for a special watch party. I'm here at the San Diego Air and Space Museum where they have so many cool things like this command module from the Apollo 9 in 1969. Now this is where special guests have gathered for a VIP watch party for the Artemis 1 splashdown of the Orion spacecraft. Splashdown, Orion back on Earth. 500 people gathered to watch a live feed of the Orion capsule splashdown 80 kilometers off the coast of California. Amazing. Oh, I had goosebumps just watching that splashdown. It was amazing. After launching from the Kennedy Space Center, the unmanned Artemis 1 spent 25 and a half days on a mission around the moon and back, traveling 286,000 miles from Earth. As we returned from the moon, uh, we were going 24,500 miles per hour peak heating of 5,000 degrees on a heat shield. Najud Morancy is chief of the Exploration Mission Planning Office at NASA's Johnson Space Center. And according to her, the Artemis 1 mission went off without a hitch. When we watch something like that, like I'm checking through the parachute openings, the entries, it's seeing the stuff happen and knowing that it's all going according to plan. The special part for me about watching the live feed was seeing it through the eyes of our younger generation. The airplane water dive put it down in the water and then, and then splash it down in the water. Three-year-old Violet Joy here is pretty good at launching her own stomp rockets into the air. It's really up there because it's stuck up there. Her Nerf rocket went so high, it got stuck in the rear engine of this Vietnam-era MiG fighter on display. I love my airplane up there. Little girls like Violet Joy and others here will one day be working for NASA and launching real rockets into space. I was like, wow, that's amazing how it only takes three parachutes to bring it down. Kayla May Terrell has been a girl scout for seven years and we may see her on a future mission to the moon mars or even beyond i love learning about life and other things i also am really proud to see jessica watkins go on the moon one day because if she can do it i can do it too the artemis 2 is planned for may of 2024 and it will take four astronauts around the moon and back in balboa park brian white cbs 8 Thank you guys for coming. I think my favorite part of his story was the excited kids. Yes. So many of them yes. getting up early to watch that. I love that we're producing a love of science. So yes. Early. Yeah.